हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हाशम अली खान लास्ट वीडियो फर्स्ट टू प्रॉब्लम्स आई हैव कंप्लीटेड ऑन कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट इन दिस वीडियो थर्ड एंड फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द थर्ड प्रॉब्लम आई एक्सपेक्ट माय व्यूअर्स टू हैव अ प्रिंट आउट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच आई हैव गिवन इन द लिंक अंडर माय डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑलवेज कीप इट रेडी विदाउट दिस प्रॉब्लम्स यू कैन नॉट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम्स you must have the perfect knowledge about the theory what is cash flow statement how it is prepared what is the format for this already i have uploaded the theory videos go to the playlist of my channel select the subject accounting for management select the videos of cash flow statement be acquainted be clear regarding the different concepts of operating activities investing activities and financing activities then only you can understand this so before starting the problem take the screenshot of the points which i have written on the board then i'll explain all the points in detail come on see the problem number 3 <clears throat> from the following balance sheet of mr dinesh prepare cash flow statement so here the new point in this problem is the balance sheet is given of mr dinesh that means sole trader so what is the difference between the company and a sole trader in sole trading business the whole profit for the year will be included in the capital so capital is given last year 70000 current year 58000 that means the profit or loss will be adjusted in capital in case of sole trading concern whereas in case of company the profit will not be included in share capital the profit will be kept separately in profit and loss account and reserves and surplus etc so here in our problem the profit from operating activity is already included in the capital so by using capital we can find out cash flow from operating activities so last year capital 70000 current year capital 58000 so there is decrease in capital so here mr dinesh cash flow statement for the year ended 31st december 2011 cash flow from operating activities first of all decrease in capital see here you have to see whether the business is sole trading or company if it is a sole trader then only we use capital here otherwise if it is a company will make pnl account here and the capital will be taken under financing activity that point you have to remember always note it down while listening while watching this lecture whatever important points i explain you time to time so if you want the perfect knowledge always note it down the points which i am explaining so decrease in capital 70 minus 58 12000 there is decrease that's why i am putting it in bracket bracket denotes minus and sundry creditor bills payable outstanding expenses these three are the current liabilities so we adjust this current liability in working capital already we have done in the last two problems then asset side land and building last year 60000 current year 54000 there is decrease the decrease in fixed asset is maybe on account of two reasons maybe on account of depreciation or maybe on account of sale during the current year some fixed asset were sold away that may be the reason why the fixed asset will decrease second depreciation the fixed asset will decrease we don't know on what count this fixed assets have decreased now plant and machinery last year 20 current year 15 this also decreased then stock debt or cash bills receivable all our current assets now adjustments other information there was neither any drawings nor capital addition that means during the year the sole trader mr dinesh has not made any drawings and not further capital introduced he has not introduced any more capital so whatever decrease in capital is there that is on account of loss in the business there is a loss that's why the capital has decreased secondly there was neither any sale nor any purchase of land and building and plant and machinery that means the land and building and plant and machinery no sale no purchase 
then why this uh, decrease in uh, fixed asset take took place on account of depreciation it's very much clear just now I told you when fixed asset decreases it may be on account of sale or on account of depreciation it is clearly given no asset is sold that means due to depreciation the fixed assets have decreased depreciation on land and building depreciation on plant and machinery so 60 minus 54 6000 is the depreciation on land and building and 20 minus 15 5000 is the depreciation on plant and machinery now i am coming back to the solution adjustment for non cash non operating items depreciation on land and building 6000 depreciation on plant and machinery 5000 here you can see that land and building decreased by 6000 plant and machinery decreased by 5000 depreciation no other non cash item so minus 12000 plus 6000 plus 5000 you will get minus 1000 so this is operating loss before working capital changes this is the operating loss now working capital changes for working capital you must remember the rule increase in current liability or decrease in current asset should be added the opposite should be deducted what is the opposite decrease in current liability increase in current asset should be deducted that rule you have to apply for adjustment of working capital first one creditors there is decrease in creditors decrease in current liability it should be deducted the so decrease in creditors should be deducted minus how much decreased 10 minus 9 1000 so 1000 in bracket similarly decrease in bills payable same creditors decreased bills payable also decreased the so decrease in bills payable minus minus 2000 then outstanding expenses last year 1000 current year 1000 no change ignore if there is no change simply ignore now come to asset side stock last year stock 1000 current year stock 1200 increase in stock increase in current asset should be deducted increase in current asset should be deducted so increase in stock should be deducted increase in stock minus 200 rupees deducted similarly uh, decrease decrease in debtors decrease in asset that should be added so decrease in debtors that should be added 2500 now decrease in bills receivable don't take cash cash we will take last item excluding cash take all other current assets now bills receivable last year 6000 current year 4500 decrease in bills receivable that will be added decrease in bills receivable added 1500 the only thing you have to remember this rule remember if you commit any mistake your solution will go wrong so now minus 1000 minus 1000 minus 2000 minus 200 plus 2500 plus 1500 finally you will get minus 200 this is the cash used in operating activities that means outflow is more than inflow that's why negative figure we are getting right this is the cash used in operating now cash flow from investing activity it is clearly given there is no purchase no sale of fixed assets so no there is no cash flow from investing activity cash flow from investing activity nil right similarly cash flow from financing activity is there any loan taken no is there any further capital introduced by the owner no so there is no uh, cash flow from financing activity nil no cash flow from investing activity no cash flow from financing activity so minus 200 this is a net decrease in cash and cash equivalent during the year net decrease because minus is there so to this net decrease in cash and cash equivalent we add the opening cash and cash equivalent so last year cash balance 1000 last year cash balance 1000 given in the balance sheet so take 1000 last years now 1000 minus 200 you will get 800 this is the cash and cash equivalent at the end of the current year now 800 we got as per our calculations now check in the problem is it 800 or not yes 
cash 800 at the end of 2011. That means our calculations are correct. Our presentation is absolutely right. Because whatever answer we got 800, the same 800 is given in the problem balance sheet. That's it. So the new point in this problem you come across is a sole trading concern. In sole trading concern, the profit, operating profit will be calculated for by using capital. Right? That's it. Now, next, fourth problem. From the following details, prepare the cash flow statement. Balance sheet is given. Share capital. When it is given only capital, it may be sole trading or it may be joint stock company. But when share capital is given, it is compulsorily a company only. So share capital last year 10,000, current year 15,000. During the current year, shares were issued. When shares are issued for 5,000, it will be taken under financing activity. Issue of shares will be taken under financing activity. Then profit and loss account will make use to calculate operating activity. Cash flow from operating activity. See here, cash flow from operating activity increase in PL account. Profit and loss account current year 8,000. Last year 5,000. So there is increase from 5,000 to 8,000. 3,000 rupees increased. So increase in profit and loss account 8,000 minus 5,000, 3,000. Next comes general reserve. General reserve last year 4,000, current year 6,000. That means during the current year, 2,000 rupees are transferred to general reserve. This 2,000 should be taken under non-cash, non-operating item. So transfer to general reserve 2,000. You can see here, one by one I put a tick so that you, cannot, you can remember. 3,000 is the increase in PLL account and 2,000 is the transfer to general reserve. Next comes creditors and bills payable. These are the current liabilities. This will be taken under adjustment of working capital. Now asset side, land. Land last year 4,000, current year 4,000, no change. Ignore. Then machinery. Machinery last year 3,000, current year 5,000. See here, when machinery is purchased, when machinery is purchased, then only the value of machinery will increase. So there is purchase of machinery. Last year 3,000, current year 5,000. <coughs> now, stock debtors. These two are current assets. Last one, cash balance. Don't take cash balance because lastly we have to take the cash balance. Additional information is given. During the year, depreciation charged on machinery 1,000 and dividend paid 2,000. So additional information it is given. Depreciation charged on machinery 1,000. So better you make the account of machinery. So here I have prepared machinery account. The machinery is an asset. Asset will show debit balance. So what is the opening balance, last year balance of machinery? 3000. Last year's balance of machinery? 3000. The so balance brought down 3000 I have taken here. Opening balance we have taken on debit side. So closing balance will take it on the credit side by balance carried down 5000. So opening and closing balance are taken. Now depreciation provided on machinery is 1000. So entry will be depreciation account debit, machinery account credit. So credit side depreciation 1000. That's all. Now you find out the total. Credit side you can see 1000 plus 5000, 6000. From 6000 deduct 3000. The balancing figure is 3000. So when debit side is less, that means during the year some machinery is purchased. If debit side you are getting some balancing figure, it means there is a purchase of machinery. It is not given in the problem. By making this account, we come to know that there is a purchase of machinery during the year worth rupees 3000. Right? Now, in the cash flow statement, this purchase of machinery will be taken under investing activity. In investing activity, we take purchase of machinery. And depreciation provided 1000, that will be taken under non-cash. So here, non-cash, adjustment for non-cash, non-operating, depreciation on machinery 1000. Right? Lastly, in additional information, dividend paid 2000. That dividend paid will come twice. Once dividend paid will be taken under non-cash, non-operating expense. 
So here I have taken dividend paid 2000. Right? It is a non operating expense. It is not an expense at all. So dividend paid is 2000. Now you add up 3000 plus 1000 plus 2000 plus 2000, 8000. This is the operating profit before working capital changes. Operating profit before working capital changes, 8000. Now we'll adjust the current asset and current liability, working capital. So current liability credit offs, increase in credit offs, add. Increase in credit offs means increase in current liability. Already I told you the rule here. Increase in current liability should be added. So increase in credit or 4000 add. Here you can see increase in credit plus 4000. Similarly, bills payable. Decrease in bills payable. This we have to deduct. Increase will be added. So decrease will be deducted. So decrease in bills payable minus 2000. Only two current liability. Now come to current asset stock. Increase in stock. Deduct. Because decrease in current asset should be added. Increase in current asset should be deducted. Here stock is increased. So increase in stock should be deducted. Increase in stock. Deduct. Minus 2000. Similarly debtors. Increase in debtors. That will also be deducted. Increase in debtors minus 5,000. That's all. All current assets, current liabilities we have checked. Now, 8,000 plus 4,000 minus 2,000 minus 2,000 minus 5,000. You will get plus 3,000. Plus 3,000. So this is the cash generated from operating activities. One activity we have completed. Now, investing activities. Cash flow from investing activity. Only one item is there. Land, there is no purchase, no sale. Last year 4000, current year 4000, no change at all. Ignore. Machinery, there is a purchase of machinery of 3000. So take purchase of machinery 3000. Remember, when we purchase the machinery, there will cash outflow. Cash outflow, that's why I am putting it in bracket. Remember this point. If cash inflow is there, Without bracket, cash outflow, money is going out, put it in bracket, bracket denotes minus. So take that one figure in outer column minus, so cash used in investing activity because we are getting negative, so we are using the word used. Now cash flow from financing activity, for financing activity check the share capital, loans etc. So share capital last year 10,000, current year 15,000. During the current year, 5,000 rupees shares were issued. When the company issues the shares, there is cash inflow. The money will come. So issue of shares, 5,000. Positive. Similarly, dividend paid. Last, last line it is given dividend paid. It is cash outflow. Money is going out. So dividend paid minus. Two. Remember this dividend paid will appear twice. Once dividend paid will be taken as a non-operating expense, add up dividend paid. Again, dividend paid will be shown in financing activity. Dividend paid minus. So 5,000 minus 2,000, 3,000. Take outer column 3,000. This is the cash generated in financing activity. All the three activities completed. Now we find out the net value. So here 3,000 operating and minus 3,000 cash used in investing and plus 3,000 cash generated. So 3,000 minus 3,000 plus 3,000 ultimately positive. This is the net increase in cash and cash equivalent. To this we add opening cash and cash equivalent. See the problem cash balance beginning cash balance is 5,000. Last year, last year cash column 5000. So cash and cash equivalent at the beginning of the year 5000. Now simply add up 3000 plus 5000, you'll get 8000. This 8000 is the cash and cash equivalent at the end of the year. Now check whether our answer is correct or not. In the problem, current year cash is 8000 and we also got cash 8000. That means our presentation, our calculations are perfect. That's it. So totally four problems I have completed on this
topic of cash flow statement very important topic not only for uh, P, uh, not only for graduations graduate students but also for pg students and also for professional studies this topic is very very important so if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to the video share my channel in your group uh, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and buy the super thanks below the video